Taking a look now at the roof and you can see my current 40 meter loop, full loop, which I have built on all four corners of the building. Kind of ignore this in the middle, by the way. That's some contraption the neighbor made. But the loop goes all the way around. You can see the wire going up there. And uh, they're on four meter PVC plastic poles. And uh, the loop comes back around and meets here. This is the feed point. This is, uh, uh, what, about a third of the way from the uh, north, so it'd be on the uh, west corner, roughly, or west side, I mean. Fed with ladder line all the way down. Paper towel standoffs, one foot away. Goes down here to a disconnect in case I have lightning or storms coming, and then goes back down the building. As long as I'm a foot up from the metal, the uh, copper here, the copper cap, I found that uh, it doesn't mess up my SWR. Uh, if I'm closer than that, though, it starts to make problems. I had it on some smaller paper or some smaller toilet paper holders, and it made issues. So I had to raise them up at least a foot, uh, raise the ladder line up a foot. This disconnect is just a short distance here, close down, and it, I think I think it does make a little bit of a difference in my SWR, but it's not a lot and seems to do fine. Um, anyway, I disconnect that before rain, just to be safe. Um, Anyway, I have the uh, PVC pipe anchored into some, uh, what are they, five gallon buckets with cement inside. You can see a, a thicker piece of PVC in there that I can just slide the four meter piece into. I painted it in an ugly blue, blue color in a, in a sad attempt to match the sky. Didn't quite work out. But what I want to talk about now is I'm building, hopefully, I'll we'll get back into focus here if I can, trying to build a wire Yagi and uh, this Yagi will go from the PVC pipe here the uh, director wire will be there going directly there to the other one and believe it or not I kind of lucked out that is within exactly four inches of being the perfect length for a uh, director for my Yagi or uh, anyway the driven element I mean for the Yagi and uh, then I can go back about yay far to this uh, second paper towel holder again I'm sorry this doesn't seem to want to focus today but this one here about here three centimeters in front of it is where the reflector would be for a two element Yagi uh, according to the Yagi calculations online so I want to play with that and I want to put up a wire and uh, I'll try one in the middle between my loop wire and this base. It's probably too short of a distance, but I want to try it and see if it works. Um, otherwise, what I might do is just take the loop down and try making my own 20 meter right there. That'd be 20, and I could make a 15 in there that's shorter as well. So that's what I want to try. And I'll just feed the line up right here from the middle at the feed point and uh, send the wire, the coax wire, on down the side of the house. So it'll be an interesting thing to try. I don't know if these mountains will make much of a problem. The loop seems to deal with them okay. I still hear the United States. The U.S. is in that direction right there. If you go over the poles properly, uh, and then that way Japan over here towards Europe, and then towards the south. Anyway, that's my idea and my plan. There's a nice cell phone tower right in the way there, but I think it'll be fine. 